Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing some Marksman Hunter. Here's the build, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. So, let's see if we can annihilate some Hordies. And I guess they only sent one to Lumber Mill, so pff, that was fast. Apparently they are missing three people still as well. Oh, Berserker? Oh, I'll take that. Let's go uh, grab the Berserker and then let's go float to blacksmith and see if we can ninja that alright I don't need uh, camouflage screw camouflage who needs it alright here we go oh that guy just almost got a blue <laughs> okay he just dies okay well um ah okay that poor guy just got melted Anybody else uh, want to have any ideas? Who's a... Uh, oh, the Guardian Droid took Lumber Mill. Okay, that's unexpected. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to Lumber Mill. I guess the Guardian Droid was sitting in stealth. Let's go grab mines next. Well, there's at least four to five of them there. Yeah, quite a few of them. All right, time to ninja mines. Wow, you really think you're gonna take this berserker? Not on my watch, dude. Here we go, big damage. Thank you. And with that, we now have gotten mines. Not gonna lie, I kind of butchered that a little bit, but it's because I panicked. Let's go for the warrior. So many of them are overextending anyways. See, so many of them just keep overextending and makes it so much easier to get them. Although they're going to keep rising, if we don't get the base. Emerald Communion. Nice, we got it. Got the hunter. Got the second hunter. And got the Devastation Evoker. So much cost and big damage, this is just insane. And there we go, we won Locksmith.
And bursting shot is useless. Again. Let's try and hard and knock off that guardian drake as a be a lot easier to do that. Eh, I kind of figured he was going to do that. Predictable evoker. Guard Android's down. Take his insignia so he can't run back. And down he goes. Don't need to keep shooting him, mage. I know it's tempting to actually push the shoot button, but there are some situations you don't need to. This time, I'm not letting the rogue get away. Not this time. I got him, I got him, I got him. Yes! He was not very happy. I put Hunter's Dark on him and he just immediately switched to me. Probably just something like that for Master's Call for that, but yeah, it's whatever. Dead rogues are good rogues. As long as we hold this fork cap, we should be good. I would go mines, but they're all gonna keep constantly rezzing there anyways. Defend farm for the last little bits of the match. for that 5 get, but by the time we even cap mines anyways, we pretty much will win, because we win in 40 seconds anyways. Anyways, this was Marksman. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And there was so much big damage. This game is insane. So, kind of feel bad for this poor hunter. She's done nothing but run. Anyways, I will pretty much catch you guys for the next one. I could have chased that hunter and finished him, but I just decided to go for the warrior instead. Kind of hate the warrior more anyways. <laughs> anyways, that's it. I will see you guys for the next video. Peace.